that, 1998, Todd McFarland, the guy behind Spawn, the movie Spawn, he came out with a line of action figures called Movie Maniacs, and uh, this is Movie Maniacs uh, Series 2. Um, this is one of the characters from Series 2, and of course we know this guy. This guy's name, Michael Myers. Crazy killer from uh, the movie called Halloween. Michael Myers there, people. The cool thing about these figures are um, McFarland did a really good job with the art on this. I mean, look at that hand. All nasty looking and stuff. It's got the classic, the boots, the, the suit. This totally scares the shit out of me. Anyway, so this is Halloween. And in the background, out of a skeleton kind of looking thing, it has movie maniacs. Then it'll have the actual movie poster from the Halloween movie. And it's the night he came home. Of course, Michael Myers. Great, great, great movie. My One of my best friend's favorite movie. Uh, shout out goes to Whistler on this. Um... McFarland did Ozzy Osbourne, The Beatles, a Sleepy Hollow figure, Spawn. Of course, he was the man that created the Spawn comic book. He left Marvel after he got pissed because he thought he wasn't getting paid paid enough, I guess. And he made Image, uh, went to help make Image Comics with a lot of other guys. And that's where he made his Spawn comic. Anyways, there's a Michael Myers figure unopened, you know. The box isn't totally men. I'm sure there's some dings and stuff somewhere, but it's uh, it looks pretty good. A little dusty, but uh, overall, I find uh, a fine uh, deal from uh, 1998 99. I guess the series two maybe come out in 99, but movie maniacs, man. Michael Myers, um, notable, notable performance in this movie, you know, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis. I mean, you know, she was good in it and all, but Donald Pleasance, I mean, great actor from the old days, just. Probably a lot of my generation, unfortunately, my generation will only remember Donald Pleasance for uh, being that guy. What the hell was his name, Whistler? Oh, Donald Pleasance, what was your name? Loomis. <laughs> Dr. Loomis. I don't remember what the first name was, but his name was Dr. Loomis. And uh, played in some great movies through his career. Unfortunately, I can't remember any of them, but I did see him in some old Disney ones, you know, where they go through the human body. I can't remember the name of it, but he was one of the scientists in that. But anyway, that's Michael Myers. And series uh, one of Movie Maniacs, they had five. Um, they had Eve from Species, that movie Species 2. They had Patrick from Species 2. So I guess McFarlane got the rights to do the Species figures. Um, from those movies, and you probably don't even know what the hell is Species. Yeah, they weren't that great a movie. But anyways, they had two figures. In Series 1, they had two kinds of figures. They had the regular ones, which were easy to come by, and then they had the bloody, bloodied versions. And uh, let me get the first one I want to show you here. One, two... He's coming for you. Three, four... You better lock your door... Five, six, wear your crucifix. Seven, eight, you better stay up late. Nine, ten, Freddy's back again. Welcome to my nightmare. He always used to go like this. Welcome to my nightmare, bitch. <laughs> I love I loved Freddy. Freddy, classic trash talker. Robert England. Robert England's best character of all time, no matter what people say. They got the, can't really see it, but the movie poster of Nightmare on Elm Street is in the background. Notable appearance in Nightmare on Elm Street. The highest grossing actor in the Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Not during the movie, because I guess uh, Robert England made a crap load of money doing this movie. But, very, very young Johnny Depp was in that movie. They don't even really have, when the hell, this... This says 94. Oh, 98, I guess. I don't know. I don't... 1998. I guess these came out in 98, but anyway, so that's uh, Freddy Krueger, the bloody version. You can see all the blood on his uh, pants. The gloves on him. He's got that glove. Look at the glove. Very cool. That's Freddy. I know these videos are going kind of long, and unfortunately, what's going to happen is 
Uh, these will also be going on the bay. I hate to depart with these horror figures because I used to be so big into horror movies. But, you know, now, you know, I just... I don't really have the time or place to put these collectibles anywhere else, but I've I've hung on for them for a long time, over 10 years, and it's uh, time to get some of you new people out there to, to get into this stuff. This one here, classic, Jason Voorhees, and I love this figure. Out of all of them, and my next figure is my ultimate favorite, but this figure is the most articulated figure and this is his Jason Goes to Hell, I think, outfit, or I think. I'm not quite sure, but it's the Jason Goes to Hell movie poster behind him. But look look at the detail of these figures. You know, he has not as much blood on this one as the others, but you can tell it's the bloody version by the bloody weapons. And he's not as bloody as the other. He has blood on his pants, yeah. But they're just so well detailed. I mean, you can see the blood a little bit in his shirt and everything. But look at that detail. Look at that. You can, you can see a little bit of one eye through there right there this one over here he may have lost an eye I think in one of the movies he got stabbed in the eye but look at that head it's like kind of like almost like if he has no skull and that's just like his brain or some deformed so yeah dude and his weapon of choice the big ass machete very awesome figure though movie maniacs Tom McFarlane he he can design some figures. And my most favorite, Series 1. I really hate to part with this. I've had this for so long. and It's like one of those toys you just want to put under your pillow at night. I mean, it's that. it means that much. That, of course, is Leatherface um, from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre original poster in the background i love i just love that original chainsaw leather uh leather face poster in the background who will survive and what will be left of them is is what the poster says you're not gonna be able to see it but classic classic poster and probably the most bloody of the movie maniacs figures of series one by far and and of course series two didn't really have any blood but they have the bucket where they held uh, sally whatever her name was and held her head over so grandpa can hit that hammer he was like hit that bitch left face hit that bitch remember that a lot of good blood there his chainsaw of course and uh when i started playing uh when great legend shim powered started playing gears of war one i was so damn good with that chainsaw you know i've i don't even remember how many kills but i had about 75 percent of my kills were chainsaw kills and the other 25% were normal kills. And that was for my 10,000 kill uh, achievement whatnot. Seriously. And um, I was a big guy. And I, I'm the one who started saying, um, the Saw's family. After I killed someone, I always say the Saw's family. Of course, that was from this movie, Chainsaw Massacre. And uh, they also said it a lot in Chainsaw Massacre too. I actually, come to think of it, I don't really remember when the hell they started saying this so maybe you can leave a comment or maybe a post but it's either part one or part two because i remember old drayton sawyer the the dad of leatherface he said uh well he started laughing you know he always was kind of giggling and he got off on and killing people's that kind of laugh he said well <laughs> the saw the saw is family you know or something like that i just like oh my god that's great so yeah that's a uh, chainsaw mask and on the back here you can kind of see them holding up stuff you know that barrel's cool some of the figures some some of the things that were big in the late 90s so yeah coming september i hate to do it people but just in time for october 31st the great legend shim power is going to be selling his action figures and uh these are pretty rare uh figures 
I don't know what I want to do with these. I mean, I'm leaning towards selling these four as a set, but I don't know. Look at there, Freddy versus Jason. They had the uh, Jason versus Layer of the Face comic. Michael Myers, of course, were very popular. So yeah, folks, I I don't know what the plan is on these, but um, great collectibles. And I'm sorry this video's gone long enough, but I may make this a two-part video. Probably will, you know, but just great, um, some great figures here. So anyways, people, this is the Great Legend Shim Power. Sorry I haven't made no videos lately. Been driving my motorcycle and having the hardest damn time getting it into the driveway without scraping the bottom. So, I'm going to be working on that pretty soon. What I'm probably going to do is just stop and just walk the bike into the driveway instead of running up on it going pretty fast. But anyways, folks, this is Movie Maniacs, and I'm the great legend Shim Power saying peace out and God bless. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. The Saw's family.